3i Atlas reaches closest point to Earth in three hours. 3.02 a.m. December 19th. Right now, object is 270 million kilometers away. And closing. Every second brings interstellar visitor nearer. Trajectory calculated. Timing precise. Maximum approach happens tonight, early morning. And you can watch it live. Because this isn't just another comet passing by. This is 7 billion year old object. Older than our solar system. Carrying chemistry from alien star system. Exhibiting behaviors never seen before. X-ray emissions. Ice volcanoes. Golden color transformation. Blade structures rotating. And tonight, humanity gets best view ever obtained. Closest approach. Maximum brightness. Peak observation window. Last interstellar visitor we tracked this closely was Oumuamua. But we missed it. Discovered after a closest approach. Already receding when detected. No detailed observations, just mystery and speculation. Then, Borisov. Better preparation. Still inadequate. Limited data. Questions unanswered. But 3i Atlas, we've been tracking since July. Months of preparation. Global coordination. Every major telescope aimed. Every amateur ready. Tonight determines everything. So the question becomes urgent. What will 3i Atlas reveal at closest approach? What details emerge when distance minimizes? What answers appear when instruments capture maximum resolution? Think about that. Before we reveal exactly when and how to watch this historic moment live, what telescopes are tracking it, and why tonight's observations could rewrite everything we know about interstellar objects, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Because 3i Atlas reaches maximum approach in hours. Live streams begin at 1 a.m. Eastern. And what happens next will either confirm natural comet behavior or force complete reassessment of what visits our solar system. Drop a comment. Are you staying up to watch history happen? Let's start with timing precision. December 19th, 3.02 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Exact moment of closest approach. Distance, 270 million kilometers. Sounds far. And it is. But for interstellar object, this is intimate. This is touching. No other confirmed interstellar visitor came this close. Oumuamua, farther. Borisov, more distant. 3i Atlas, record-breaking proximity. And here's critical detail most people miss. That 3.02 a.m. timestamp. Not magic deadline. Not if you miss it, it's gone moment. Distance changes slowly. Object traveling fast, yes. But on cosmic scale, to human observation, December 19th, entire day shows essentially same view, same brightness, same angular size, same details visible. So if you can't stay awake until 3 a.m., don't panic. Observation window extends through entire day, through December 19th night. Even December 20th morning shows minimal change. Object remains visible, remains observable, remains at near maximum approach, distance for extended period. But why tonight matters despite extended window? Because coordinated observation. Because global telescopes synchronized. Because live coverage concentrated. Virtual telescope project streaming. Bellatrix Observatory in Italy broadcasting. Starting 1 a.m. Eastern. Professional equipment. Expert narration. Real-time imaging. And you can watch from anywhere. Free. Live. As history happens. For context, we need 3i Atlas Discovery Timeline. July 1st, 2025. Atlas Survey Detection. Immediately unusual. Brightness abnormal. Activity unexpected. And trajectory. Hyperbolic. Not solar system object. Interstellar origin confirmed. Third confirmed visitor. After Oumuamua. After Borisov. But different from both. Initial observations showed red color. Deep red. Organic compounds dominant, like trans-Neptunian objects, like Kuiper Belt residents. But composition proved exotic. Chemical signatures wrong for solar system formation. Elements in unusual ratios. Molecules unknown locally. Clear evidence of alien stellar environment. A formation around different star, with different abundances. Different conditions. Different chemistry. Then, September approached to 2.5 AU. Water line crossing, activation threshold, color transformed, red to green, 
Spectacular change. Carbon emissions dominant. Cyanogen detected. Abnormally high cyanide levels. And nickel. Lots of nickel. Without corresponding iron. Chemical anomaly defying explanation. Never seen in solar system comets. Never predicted by models. Never explained by natural processes we understand. Activity continued increasing. Green coma expanding. Occasionally blue tints. Gas production accelerating. Then recent transformation. Four days before today. Green to gold. Third color change. Dust dominated phase. Volatile depletion. Nucleus exposure. And beneath? Blade structures. Rotating geometry. Mechanical appearance. Features hidden until deliberate underexposure revealed them. Multiple independent astrophotographers confirmed blade structures. Alberto Quanovodnica in Colombia. Tony Sierrata in Italy. Different telescopes. Different locations. Same features documented. Solid appendages. Not transient gas jets. Integral to nucleus. Rotating with object. Maintaining geometric precision. Creating impression of engineered propulsion, despite natural composition. Hubble Space Telescope captured recent images. Massive coma visible. Gigantic gas cloud surrounding nucleus. Bright central point. Nucleus itself, surrounded by debris. By sublimating materials. By particles reflecting sunlight. And extending from nucleus. Faint anti-tail, pointing towards sun. Rare phenomenon, caused by orbital geometry by viewing angle, by dust particle dynamics, creating optical illusion of tail pointing wrong direction. X-ray emissions detected. Completely unexpected. Comets don't emit X-rays. Asteroids don't emit X-rays. But 3i Atlas. Clear X-ray signature. Mechanism unknown. Theories proposed. Solar wind interaction and maybe. Charge exchange possibly. But unprecedented for comet-like object. Another anomaly. Another mystery, another behavior requiring explanation. Ice volcanoes suggested, cryovolcanism, not molten rock, but sublimating ice, erupting volatiles, creating jets, producing activity, explaining sustained outgassing, explaining activity persistence billions of years after formation. Because normal comet exhausts volatiles, becomes inert, but with active interior, with cryovolcanic processes, activity continues indefinitely. Powered by internal heat, by radioactive decay, by tidal flexing maybe, if fragment from disrupted planet. NASA assessment crucial. Speculation about artificial origins circulated. Blade structures noticed. Geometric precision observed. Acceleration detected. And internet exploded. Spacecraft theories. Alien probe hypotheses, interstellar vehicle speculation. But NASA analysis? Definitive natural conclusion. Chemical composition wrong for manufactured object. Behavior consistent with exotic comet. Anomalies explainable by unusual formation history. Not by intelligence, not by engineering. By physics in extreme conditions. Current magnitude 11. Invisible to naked eye. Requires telescope. Medium aperture minimum. 6 inches adequate. 8 inches better, 10 inches ideal, and clear skies essential, dark skies preferable, light pollution minimization critical, because magnitude 11 pushes visibility limits even with decent equipment. For those without telescopes, live streams solution, virtual telescope project offering free coverage, starting 1 a.m. Eastern December 19th, professional equipment capturing images, Expert commentary explaining observations, real-time updates providing context, and global audience watching together, sharing moment, witnessing history, documenting interstellar visitor at maximum approach. After tonight's closest approach, object continues outward. Trajectory carries away from Earth, away from inner solar system, toward outer reaches, toward Jupiter encounter. March 2026. Close approach to gas giant. Gravitational interaction inevitable. Trajectory modification expected. Slight deflection probable. Capture unlikely but possible. Collision extremely improbable but not impossible. Jupiter's massive gravity will alter path. Will change velocity. Will modify orbit slightly. And people will notice. 
will claim trajectory change proves artificial control, proves propulsion system, proves intelligent guidance. But physics explains everything. Gravity assists are natural. Trajectory modifications are expected. Course changes are inevitable when passing massive planet. Some worry Jupiter will capture 3i Atlas. Pull into orbit, make permanent solar system resident. Probability, extremely low. Distance at closest approach too large. Velocity too high. Escape trajectory maintained. Object continues through. Jupiter encounter merely modifies path. Bends trajectory. Doesn't capture. Doesn't consume. Just redirects slightly. Maven's spacecraft situation provides interesting parallel. Mars orbiter lost contact December 4th. Communication ceased. And recently started spinning uncontrollably. Like top like gyroscope gone wrong. Engineers baffled. Recovery attempts ongoing. Contingency plans activated. Other orbiters compensating. Perseverance and curiosity communications maintained through backup relays. Some connect Maven failure to 3i Atlas. Claim object passed Mars. Claim observations occurred. Claim spacecraft then malfunctioned. Implying causation. Implying connection implying 3i Atlas somehow responsible. But correlation isn't causation. Maven collected spectroscopic data when object passed Mars. True, measured chemical composition. True, then malfunctioned. Also true, but causation, no evidence. Just aging spacecraft, experiencing technical problems after years of operation. Hubble still functions. James Webb still operates. Ground telescopes still work. All observed 3i Atlas. None malfunctioned. Maven failure unrelated. Just unfortunate timing. Just coincidence. Just old equipment experiencing predictable problems in harsh space environment. Tonight's observation window critical for multiple reasons. First, maximum resolution. Closest approach means smallest angular separation. Means largest apparent size. Means finest details visible. Surface features, structural elements, compositional variations, all maximally observable tonight. Second, spectroscopic opportunity. Maximum brightness enables detailed spectrum. Chemical fingerprints clear. Elemental abundances measurable. Molecular signatures identifiable. Comparing spectrum at closest approach with earlier observations reveals evolution, shows compositional changes demonstrates activity variations, proves or disproves theories about internal structure. Third, astrometric precision, exact position measurements, trajectory refinement, orbit calculation improvement, future predictions enhanced, Jupiter encounter timing sharpened, post-solar system path clarified, where 3i Atlas goes after leaving our system. Tonight's data helps predict. Fourth, comparative analysis. Three confirmed interstellar objects now. Umamua, Borisov, 3i, Atlas. What patterns emerge? What commonalities exist? What differences distinguish them? Statistical analysis requires data. Tonight provides unprecedented data set. Best observations ever obtained of interstellar visitor. Foundation for understanding entire population of objects traveling between stars. Chinese thorium reactor achievement offers interesting technological parallel. Molten salt reactor successfully operated. Thorium to uranium, 233 conversion demonstrated. Sustained nuclear fission achieved. Technology Western nations abandoned decades ago. Deemed unpromising, deemed impractical, deemed not worth pursuing. But China persisted, continued research, achieved breakthrough. Lesson applicable to astronomy, to interstellar object research, to unconventional hypotheses. Sometimes consensus prematurely dismisses possibilities. Sometimes majority opinion proves wrong. Sometimes persistence reveals truth others missed. Not saying 3i Atlas is artificial. Evidence points natural, but saying investigation must continue. Data must accumulate. Understanding must deepen. Before final conclusions drawn, tonight represents culmination of six months preparation. Six months since discovery, six months of observations, six months of data collection, six months of analysis, six months of speculation, six months of debate. And tonight, 
Maximum approach. Peak opportunity. Best chance. Potentially last chance for detailed observation before object recedes beyond useful resolution. Live stream recommendations clear. Virtual telescope project primary choice. Bellatrix Observatory Professional. 1 a.m. Eastern Start Time. Coverage continues hours. Real-time imaging. Expert commentary. Q&A possibly. Community interaction. Shared experience. Global audience united in observation, in wonder, in scientific curiosity. For telescope owners, coordinates available online. Ephemeris updated constantly. Star charts showing location between Virgo and Leo. High above horizon early morning. Dark sky ideal. New moon past. Minimal lunar interference. Perfect conditions if weather cooperates. Photographic technique matters. Short exposure's better. Prevents nucleus overexposure. Reveals structure. Shows blade features. 60 seconds maximum. 30 seconds optimal. Stack multiple images. Improve signal to noise. Reduce noise. Enhance detail. Create time lapse. Show rotation. Demonstrate motion against background stars. Spectroscopy valuable if equipment available. Even amateur spectrographs contribute. Emission lines identify elements. Absorption features reveal molecules. Compare with professional data. Confirm observations. Participate in science. Contribute to understanding. Citizen science at its finest. After tonight, object fades. Distance increases. Brightness diminishes. Details blur. January shows dimmer object. February dimmer still. March Jupiter encounter provides brief revival. Gravitational focusing. Temporary brightness increase. Then final recession. Into outer solar system. Into interstellar space. Into darkness beyond detection. Will we see another interstellar visitor soon? Statistics suggest yes. Three confirmed in eight years. Detection improving. Survey programs expanding. Telescopes proliferating. Next visitor may be months away. Maybe weeks. Population large. Galaxy full of wandering objects. Ejected from planetary systems. Drifting through void. Occasionally passing our sun. Occasionally close enough to detect. Each visitor teaches something about planetary formation, about stellar systems, about interstellar medium, about object populations, about galactic dynamics. 3i Atlas taught about exotic chemistry, about sustained activity, about geometric structures possibly natural, about color transformations, about complexity of classification. Tonight's observations add final chapter, maximum detail, best data, clearest images, definitive measurements. And then, object continues, journey resumes, travels onward, toward next star, toward next system, toward destinations unknown, carrying chemistry from ancient star, carrying history of alien world, carrying mysteries humanity barely glimpsed. If knowing that tonight at 3.02 m Eastern Time, the oldest object ever observed in our solar system reaches closest point to Earth in recorded history, and you can watch it live for free from professional observatories streaming worldwide, has changed your plans for tonight. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications, because we'll be covering the live streams, analyzing the data as it comes in, and breaking down what tonight's observations mean for our understanding of interstellar objects. Drop a comment with whether you're staying up or watching replays tomorrow, and share this video with anyone who wants to witness history happen live, because opportunities like this don't come often. 3i Atlas waited 7 billion years to visit our system. Tonight, we get 3 hours at closest approach. Don't miss it.